You know why many people didn't like President Buhari? Who knows why they were afraid of him becoming president originally? Because in his first coming, he went after evil people a lot. And Nigeria is comprised primarily of evil people. Stealing the public patrimony is normal. Yes or no? When you enter government, stealing what was for everybody in this country, it is normal. Yes or no? So when the man became president in the early 80s, he began to go after such people. Many are still alive. They remember most of you were not born. They remember he locked people up. Not innocent people. Bad people. People who stole. Nigerians have not forgiven him for locking up their thief of a father or uncle. Very straightforward. This is not maybe go come. Forget about whether he did it in a high-handed way. Jerry Rawlings of Ghana did it far worse. Wari locked people up. He didn't kill them. Except two drug dealers. Two. Rawlings shot his own dead. Do you know all this? He shot them dead. Ba, 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 ba. This Ghana you boast about. How they did it? They killed people. They took government leaders and shot them dead. They hated him because how? He would come and catch us. People were so scared. Ran out of the country. Because they have to explain. Where's the four billion that they gave for this? Where's the other one? And that's what they were afraid that he would do. And he came and didn't do it. He must have agreed to something and said it's okay. At least God showed us some visions and stuff too. They saw visions where he was crying. And they were forcing him to do things. And he couldn't do what he wanted to do. She saw him with documents and he, he wouldn't be able to. And they would demand, standing demand. We saw him on chains. I went to South Africa and I heard a preacher say the same thing. That's what made me go and check on my journal. And I started seeing things God had shown me. Buhari is dead though. I saw it. I had seen it years before. Before anybody said Buhari was dead. All that matter. That's why I never believed it. Because I had seen it before he was president. I saw him becoming president four years before he became president. I saw all those things. The major reason they were afraid of Buhari was not because of whatever you think. All those stories you tell. You can't say it's because he didn't develop Nigeria. He has built more infrastructure than, I don't know, any president has built. You don't know any of it because you hang out with evil company. Ask for a link on Telegram that was is a recent link called Nations Advance. Ask for it. Let them add you. That's just a few, a fraction. Tens of thousands of projects abandoned by everybody in the last 50 years. And he came and completed tens of thousands. What do you hate him for? It's because the demon of greed, often called corruption, graft in Nigeria is a very big demon. Are you hearing me? It's a very big... Remember, different people... Do you remember what I said earlier? That different places have different demons. So the big demon of Nigeria is not homosexuality. Are you hearing me? It's not uh, transgenderism. It's not certain things. Our big demon is stealing. Stealing. That is, is nothing here. That's why someone can come here, drop a bicycle down the road and it's gone. We steal casually. It's, it's, a, it's like a family trait. It's, it's like an inheritance that was bequeathed. Grace to steal. To skank, to move things. People feel guilty for not stealing when they had the chance. People curse people for entering office and not stealing. Useless man. The man was in position. Even if you said, I only steal small, your wife and your parents will help you. Your siblings will push you to steal properly. How dare you steal only four million? Your mates are stealing 200 million. Do you see God call government leaders, God's servants? How many of you have heard servants of God give the impression? I mean spiritual servants of God, church leaders, give the impression that government leaders should be under them. They are not. A government leader is not under you. A government leader is under God. The same way God gives instructions to a spiritual leader, he can give instructions to a government leader. He is God's servant, an agent of punishment on bad people. That's a top job of government leaders do you know that why do you complain when government goes after bad people you only you support them when they arrest armed robbers do you support them when they arrest thieves when efcc does the job how many of you pray for efcc how many of you bless them i told you the other day why i give praise to god for nigeria is that punishment has not fallen since you have no idea of the bowls of judgment hanging over nigeria 
keep following your favorite preacher when he hits you you will understand that your judgment has been pending since a country where everybody is a thief do you know the punishment of thieves the punishment of thieves is a curse and it says a curse goes into the house of every thief and every liar two things we are very good at doing stealing and lying look at the curse of the liar Zechariah 5 3 this is the curse that is going out over the face of all the land for according to one side of the scroll every thief will be removed and according to the other side every pejora will be removed pejori is lying is lying to lie as a witness in court nobody even thinks of lying is so normal for you guys that dear god and something in you does not know that there's a judgment for lying the punishment is that you'll be removed did you hear you'll be removed have they all been removed in nigeria president Buhari fell short in not removing enough people he tried he removed some he removed more than others have removed as far as i perceive more money was given to nigerians than has ever been given this government that you vilify and speak against why do you speak against someone that has helped more poor people than any other person before don't you know you have demons and do you know those plans those structures the implementation that the primary people in government that do it are from the vice president they are under the vice president who is in charge of such things economic matters he chairs it so your mordecai your christian brother whom god put there you spend time hating the fulani man so much that you completely ignored everything that god was doing just like you have spent time cursing pharaoh instead of rejoicing over joseph but who put joseph there check your software because as far as i know it has been corrupted since so i don't bother i don't I tr a few times i've tried to run antivirus it spoils the antivirus let me warn you how i used to warn you years ago everything president Buhari was to do and he didn't do someone will come and do it when i told you years ago Buari is mercy you didn't understand you cursed your blessing like that he didn't lock them up you cursed him someone will come and do it they'll do the work they will mop up go and keep tissue because he may come near you in foreign countries people do things many years later they come and catch them efcc is the closest thing we have to that here do people like efcc why because you're thieves liars i will send it out that course look at what it does declares the lord of hosts and it will enter the house of the thief and the house of him who swears falsely by my name read it will remain inside his house and destroy it down to its timbers and stones do you understand now as usual i know the average christian you're watching me you're hearing me whatever is happening and now, as usual you don't believe it you're like that thing you're saying is it real as usual you think it doesn't apply to you i'm just gisting you so when it comes to pass when it comes to pass curse the government that is in power a people who have been lying and stealing since the 60s before the 60s before you had independence you guys were lying and stealing and playing tribal politics did you know Oh, you think this division started now no 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 your heroes all of them did it tribal politics saying don't vote the man from this side don't vote instead of saying don't vote the man that supports this you keep talking about let's vote someone from our side what has your side to do with anything i used to say if you're going to bring a white man from a foreign land or someone from uganda and you do what is right please bring him all that ethnocentricity that is in our nature nepotic blood i have none of it I do not ever see anybody where are you from where are you from i don't i don't care where you are from are you a human being that's all doesn't the bible say when you saw a stranger you took him you took him in it is carnal thinking that does not understand that it is the most high that rules in the affairs of men and gives it to whomsoever he will you hear that you still don't agree you still fight it I don't know if you know that President Buhari had stopped running for governance. That a prophet went to him and said, God said, that God told the prophet he should go. When he ran in 2.11, he said, this is the last time, I'm not going again. That's why he cried. And then a prophet of the Lord, whom God has given words that came to pass in Nigeria multiple times from the 80s 
into the 90s went to him in his house and said god said you should go you win and that's how a man who had stopped everything got up and went at the word of a, a muslim man went at the word of a christian prophet and became the president of a country he had given up on running you didn't know you think i'm saying special things these things are in the public domain that you don't know it is always a function of what you're listening to that's how Buhari became president he believed in a prophet that's all do you think you should casually attack someone that god might have put someone i mean you know what i mean by casually like your whole mindset is that no it's nothing like that no idiot. no they put him there no question who put him there did we read together that all authorities that are that is god that did we read in romans 13 or am i fabricating stories years ago i was with a church group who said Buari can never, and they shared a vision, how Buari can never be president. Unfortunately for me, because sometimes I feel sad, with much knowledge comes grief. 2003, when I didn't know my left from my right, I was in law school, Abuja. I had just arrived shortly before, and the Lord showed me a vision of the night. Summary, I understood. The Lord spoke about a coming ruler, a coming leader. I didn't understand it much 12 years later who knows what 12 is the number of of government of governance 12 12 apostles 12 patriarchs 12 sons of israel 12 12 plus 12 is 24 the leadership the eldership 12 were sent into the promised land to search it out 12 represented the tribes and i remember 12 years later i'm in the car on a sunday going home from a church meeting and i saw the man i had seen in the vision of the night 12 years before i play him a message from long before and he says he quotes the passage i got in that revelation 12 years before he quotes the exact passage and i tell my wife Buari will be president that's all that is instantly like oh wow so 12 years just makes sense now do you hear me say 12 that's three cycles that's four times three twelve i tell my wife uh, Buari will be president. Like, I understand it just makes sense. Buari president. And that's it. Now you're here wondering why? How could God have shown you? Was I wrong? Now I'm asking you, did he become president in 2015 or not? Every other thing God has shown me in 2011, other times. And by the way, just as gist, I was not praying about. You know how people pray and say, God, I let this person be. I was not doing any of that. There's a difference between someone looking for something and it comes to pass. And someone like me who typically faces my side i was not asking i was not requesting i was not seeking i was not saying god tell me who will be i was not doing any of that i was living my life the same way god talks to me about all sorts of things simply almost sometimes playfully i have no personal interest all those things that people i don't know what people are greedy people have schemes i heard someone talking about a man of god that didn't used to speak against president Buhari. then the moment government showed up and said hey you guys are using your church waiver who has heard and knows that certain ngo type bodies and charity bodies or like church can import things from outside without paying and churches were using it to import things for people and government said stop the person said immediately they start attacking the president some big preacher i don't know he didn't call the name immediately you will join an attack what do you know how many of you have sat in any place i don't care how old or young you are whether it is faculty politics state politics national politics international politics how many of you have sat around a discussion and you heard people say ah they have rigged it no this person is going and when the result came i was something else who has be, ever been in that kind of setting where everybody sh they say yeah they are finished yeah. but something else happened at the end how do those people that always speak who has seen those kind of people repeatedly miss misfire like that who has been around people repeatedly they keep misfiring who has noticed that some of them never stop they keep doing the same thing who has seen people who listen to them constantly and go and spread what they say who has a brain in their head yeah please is two plus two now 49 how can someone miss is it the more someone misses something the more you follow them is it the more you see someone misfire whether you respect him or whether you don't respect him whether you know him or not is it the more he misfires the more you have regard for for them after someone misfires once twice thrice 
Uh, don't you think there's nothing like a pinch of salt here? Can you not eat what they are serving at all? God showed me these things. Now, I can say this, I've said it in the past, but it's the end of President Buari's time. It's the end. So I can say it. So you don't say I said it later. Years to come, maybe some things will come out more clearly. Has God told me things? Yes. Has God told us when the rest of this church came together years later, did God tell them things? Yes. Many things, many revelations, things before they come to pass. Told you before the 2019 elections, 2018, God had told us what would happen. We said it, we knew. It's why up till towards the election, we were not praying anymore. We had finished praying one year before, gotten our answers, done what God said we should do. He said we should praise him. We did, we did different things. We left it in between. It almost ended. Different things have happened. Even when the president was dying one time outside the country, God told us, we prayed. He showed us what to do. We obeyed. Within one week or so, the president was back. Now, there's always other people, okay? But he did show us. I told you, the church was killing Buari. That's what we saw. We didn't hear it. We saw it from a church building. Arrows were entering him. As we prayed, the arrows were pulled out. Within two weeks, one week plus two. He had been away for many weeks. If almost not months, he came back. It was a very long time. There was no president. And, you know, there's a difference between you're saying something after it happens and when you know something before it happens. You should pay attention to someone that said things before they happen. You should. Anyone can run a commentary on a newspaper article. But what about the person that is giving you inside information before the news breaks? Even if you don't agree or like, shouldn't you at least say, because I remember thinking about that, about some church leaders that I, I asked some question when they said, oh, he will never be the president. I said, eh, eh, why? I wanted to know sincerely. You know, I followed one to the house. And instead of answering, I said, no, is there a vision? I was trying to ask, is there something God revealed? They couldn't answer it properly. Instead, they seemed very emotional, which is why I don't like emotion when you're sharing the truth. What's the emotion about? The, is there a prophecy? I want to know it. I like knowing prophecies and things God has said. So I can align. Because I was wondering, based on what God told me, wow, this seems different. Now, eventually, prophecy passed prophecy. My own prophecy came to pass. Your own failed. Instead of your saying, hey, brother, come. That thing, what do you say you saw? You're angry with me. Who is confused like me too? Why, can, why are you angry at me? I saw. I didn't, I didn't even vote. What's your problem? They showed me. You, the person you believe is wrong. Me, I saw. I am right. You can't be unhappy with me. This is years ago. At that time, I had post pastor. I was not even pastor. Now, in the second phase, God also showed me. It wasn't only me this time. There are many of our people were around. And God showed them too. I said, it's good you're here. This is one year before election even begins. We asked. He answered. Simple. Have you seen? Write it down. We wrote it down. Kept the records. One year passes. It comes to pass. In between that, millions, tens of millions of Christians are making decrees and giving prophecies. Please, after a while, should I take you seriously? She prophesied. Two of them said something. It came to pass. The 50 of you said something. It didn't come to pass. This is not once. This is not twice. Every time you miss it, these two people are correct. Please, allow me to pay my tithe here, have I? Leave me alone. You're a misfirer. I don't care about your numbers. Don't you know God does not pray with numbers? Do you not know there was only one Jeremiah and there are very many prophets? Do you know those prophets said they should beat Jeremiah and persecute him? If you like, be amongst the prophets of Judah. That they go and read your Bible. Read your Bible and see how God operates. He does not operate with crowds. Is that okay? Now, I have said that this particular election season is the most confusing. He has told us many things though. I've hinted you. A little here and there, but it's confusing as if it's in a flux as though as though it's shiftable as though it's not a fixed thing now the past ones it was fixed it was clear this is it this is it then it's now as if uh, so it's not as straightforward i've hinted you when they come to pass you see the audios when it comes to whatever come to pass it, it seems the date is there we have seen someone we do not desire becoming president we have wondered at it and like, God, oh, what? Remember, God told us April last year. He said, come aside for 50 days. We prayed. If you know me, 
I don't like long, long prayer. I don't. So there's a big difference between what you remember how we started the service. A dolos, a slave. A slave does what he's told. He's not my opinion. That's why I feel very funny when I see Christians so worked up about their personal opinion. You're full of yourself. I don't live in that world. I don't have in my world. I'm not permitted to have opinions. I go to God. So we've seen a character we would rather not have win as president. And we've won that, but he's not, he's not the only thing we've seen. We've seen two beasts fighting. We saw this before. There was a Peter Obi, and a third one came, insignificant, and pulled the chair from between them. We've seen different things. By yourself, floods that happen. We had seen it, you know, you see in a list of things, and then you just see, I saw Bayosa and everything was underwater. We'd seen that almost eight months before it, it happened or so, or ten, about that. Things you couldn't project. Jesus didn't say, pray. He said, watch and pray. So sometimes what we need are people that will help us watch. So you can position yourself to be ready. There are many things happening in our land and that will happen not just here but around the world during this season as you praise god god always look for the instruction don't look for all of you see when i said the things to come i saw many of you you became very attentive you want to know why because you're you're still untrained in spiritual things you want to be able to go and tell people and say listen one prophetic church i went to they told us this is the person that'll be you see you see you want so when he comes back you can say didn't i tell you i understand it but it's <laughs> it's it's so funny and childish